yes guys we are doing question number 8 okay now 8th is continue now in this case again as like question number 6 and 7 we have to find out the volume of a solid generated by okay uh, by the curve okay around a line which is other than the axis two axis is not honest i mean about the x axis or about y axis okay but it is about a line which is drawn by joining the extremities the quadrant of the ellipse axis square upon a square by square upon b square equal to one line in the first quadrant line in the first quadrant we revolve about the line joining the extremities of the major and minor axis the major axis is having one extremity a okay this is a x axis the major axis or having this a distance is this a total okay so a zero is the point of a which is one extremity of the major axis other extremity is a dash this is one extremity a b is of minor axis extremity of minor axis the joining a and b we are getting a chord or line joined by joining the extremities about the line joining the extremities of the major and minor axis show that the volume of the solid generated is this pi a square let me write here but the curve here the curve is okay the curve here the curve is ellipse is the ellipse or it says ellipsoid is it ellipsoid or ellipse okay quadrant of the ellipse here okay what is the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1 and solution i am finding out here so what is the point here as i discussed in the beginning that whenever a solid is generated by revolving a curve around the line other than the axis two axis x axis and y axis or maybe the three axis z axis as well okay but other than the axis if we are revolving a solid around the line then that volume is given by integration okay pi into this is p into n whole square into d of in this case a n a n length of this p n which is perpendicular from the curve on the line about which we are revolving the solid so this is in this case it is a n okay so this is the formula for the volume generated by the solid which is revolved around a line other than the axis now in this case it's not x axis it's not by axis but other than the two axis if we revolve the solid okay uh, uh, made by the curve okay uh, under the curve we may say the solid generated by the curve we revolve it around the line which is other than the axis then this is the formula which we have to find out in this case also question number six question number seven and question number eight these three have a similar type of formula that we are revolving the solid around the line other than the axis that is the point it is the formula which we have to use in this case d e n differentiation of a n is the line if it is in terms of phi as we will take here let, let me take p here is as we always take on the ellipse a cos phi let me take and p sin phi these are the two uh, okay coordinates of this point the parametric coordinates may be okay so if we substitute these two points in the ellipse then ellipse equation of the ellipse is satisfied why because if i put x equal to a cos phi then a square upon a square cancelled out cos square phi plus sin square phi equal to 1 satisfied for well, this is trigonometric arbitrary we know that sin is equal to theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 so in this case also these are the coordinates of p we have taken or x and y we always take x and y x equal to a cos phi and y equal to b cos phi b sin phi sorry b sin phi of p coordinates we have taken of p okay so this is the strip elementary strip we have taken p q m n okay and we have p n is the perpendicular on the line a b first we will find out what is the equation of the line a b as we found out in question number seven and six similarly we have to find out what is the equation of the line a b upon which or about which or upon which in this case the perpendicular p n is drawn okay okay and uh, then this is the line about which the solid is to be generated the solid 
or volume of the solid to be generated. This equation of the line. So let me check here. Let P x by or P a cos phi cos phi b sin phi. This is cos phi sin phi b a point on the curve or on the ellipse on the ellipse in the first quadrant in the first quadrant of it as is required in the first quadrant the this solid is generated in the first quadrant of it okay therefore a perpendicular pn pn is perpendicular to a ab where ab is the line is the line joining the extremities joining the two extremities joining the extremities of major and minor axis of major and minor axis that is the point here major axis is this is the uh, extremity is a one of the extremities a and a dash are the two extremity of major axis Similarly, B, B and B dash are the two extremities of minor axis. So one extremity of minor axis and one extremity of major axis are joined. Then this line is obtained. About this line, we have to revolve this solid, which is under the ellipse in the first part, and is to be revolved around, and the volume is to be generated. So that volume we have to find out at the point. Formula is this we will apply because this is the formula which we apply in case when the solid generated is revolved around that line. Okay, any line other than the axis. This is the formula which is applied. Let me find out what is P n then. So here P n is perpendicular to N. First, let me find out what is the equation of A n. So equation of A n sorry A B. I'm sorry. Equation of A B A B is given by we know that what is the form what is the formula for the equation? Equation of the line. This is y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. If any line passes through two points and coordinates of that point are given, we have coordinates of a are a0 and of b is 0b. If I substitute this in this formula, a b line that can be obtained is given by this formula y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1. This is some coordinate geometry we know. y minus y1 is 0 equal to y2 is here b b minus 0 by 1 upon x2 x2 is 0 0 minus a because x1 is a into x minus x1 x1 is a x1 is a here this is x1 by 1 x2 by 2 so this is the formula that we cross multiply this is minus a if I multiply this, this is a into by, let me take positive sign to this side, plus a to this side, minus b to this side. This is minus bx plus ab. Minus b multiplied to x minus a, minus bx plus ab. Or, formula is then bx plus a by minus ab equal to 0. So, this is the equation of the line ab. So, this is the first equation that we take. The equation of this line is this. Okay, so this is equation of the line AB. Now upon this, if I draw a perpendicular and uh, PN as I have discussed, PN is perpendicular, this is symbol for perpendicular to AB. Therefore, equation of PN, which is perpendicular on AB, is given by this is AX1 plus B by 1. Okay, plus whatever c value is there plus c1 upon under root of a square plus b square. This is the formula perpendicular distance of pn. This is perpendicular distance or perpendicular distance. This is perpendicular distance given by this formula. If I substitute this is a in this case a into y is this and a into x1. x1 is the coordinates of p here. Coordinates of p are take at a cos phi and b sin phi. So let me substitute this with points here. So what is the equation?
sorry, length of the curve here. This, therefore, P and we are calculating. So therefore, P n is equal to. I am calculating P n here. So a b into x. This is b into x is a cos phi into a cos phi plus a into because y coordinate is b sin phi into b sin phi minus a b. This is minus a b constant value divided by under root of here it is b square plus x a square b square plus a square coefficients of x and y in this equation okay equation of the line so they are given by a square plus b square here a square plus a is b here x coordinate and co coefficient of y is b so y of y is a so a square this is a square here we have taken so this is about the equation for length of the perpendicular pn pn is this now let me find out what is an now how an is calculated this an now if i take this as a, a right angle triangle because this is the perpendicular we have drawn pn is perpendicular on a line ab so a and p or a p n is a right angle triangle if i take this as a small line in a sort of arc then this is a right angle triangle so an will be equal to an square is equal to an square equal to this ap is the hypotenuse so ap square minus pn square okay now what is ap square ap is distance between two lines distance between two lines okay is known as uh, is obtained by x2 minus x1 whole square and by 2 minus by whole square x2 is this a cos phi minus a whole square plus b sin phi minus 0 whole square so this is ap ap square is the length ap here the distance between two points that is given by x2 minus x1 whole square that means a cos phi minus a whole square a cos phi because this is x2 minus x1 is a coordinate of a plus by 2 minus by 1 this is b sin phi minus 0 whole square this is value of a p square okay this is length of the distance between two points the so square of that length a p square is this minus sign p and we have operated this so p n is this value if i square this it will give us a b if i take common from both all the three we a b a square b square into this is cos phi plus sine phi minus one whole square divided by a square plus b square whole square because this is square root it was it is only a square plus b square but this is square root is cancelled out when i square the denominator on the root of a square plus b square or b square plus a square doesn't matter so i write a square plus b square constant they are the constants so we can uh, I mean, change them plus sign it. No, no change of. I mean, uh, re rearranging them. A square plus B square or B square plus A square. Okay, this is the value of this equation. Now, if I solve this equation on simplification, what is A n square here? A n square. So we have obtained here A cos phi. This is my sorry A cos phi. a cos phi minus a if i take a common let me take a common this is a square into cos phi minus one whole square into a square plus b square okay let me multiply this by a square plus b square after taking lcm okay let me write here this is within bracket a square plus b square because we have taken the lc plus sign this is b sign or b square into sine square phi because whole square is open because zero is there so this is this equation multiplied by a square plus b square minus sign this is a square b square into cos phi plus sine phi minus 1 whole square divided by whole a square plus b square 
the calcium we have taken because uh, below this, I mean the denominator of this, these two terms, is one only. And here h can be discovered. H can be discovered with calcium. This h can be discovered will multiply to these two, these two terms. So on simplification, what do we get? Let me write here. On simplification, because if I solve it taking step by step, it may take time. So it is on simplification. We get here a n square. A n square is going to be this is a square into 1 minus cos phi. Within bracket it will be 1 minus cos phi plus b square into sin phi whole square upon a square plus b square. This value will be obtained as a n square. We are calculating here a n square. A n square we are calculating. So this will be obtained after solving this or simplifying this whole value. This one can do very easily. Systematic point is there. I have written down this as a whole square. This whole square will be obtained. A square into 1 minus cos phi plus b square into sin phi whole square. This value of a n will be obtained. Therefore, a n is the square root of this. A n will be only this square cancelled out. It is nothing but a into 1 minus cos phi plus b square into sin phi divided by a square plus b square square root why because square root of denominator a square root we are calculating because a n is to be obtained so a n is this value hence what is the formula for volume therefore volume of the solid generated by the arc a b or a p b arc a p b if this area is revolved around this is the radius here p n is the radius so that solid will be obtained and volume of the solid will be given by let me write here the formula which i just mentioned that if the solid is generated uh, is revolved about any line other than the axis then the formula is given by let me take that formula and this is pn value okay so what is the pn let me write here pn so pn was ab into this is pn value. Here pn is ab. We have to take here pn is ab into cos phi plus sin phi minus 1 divided by under root a square plus b square. This is the value of pn here. pn. And an is this. Let me write here an. an is this. a square into 1 minus cos phi plus b square into sin phi divided by under root a square plus b square. Now, I have to find out first d a n. What is differentiation of this value? So, let me that find out. On simplification, we have obtained a n is this. Now, before taking the volume, let me find out what is differentiation of this with respect to phi. So, d d phi of a n differentiation of this value this is first equation let me take and this is the second equation so differentiation of this will be obtained by differentiating this equation with respect to phi so this is a square minus cos phi is different one is zero differentiation of one is zero cos phi minus cos phi differentiated as minus sine phi but minus sine is also this plus sine phi so it is a square into sine phi plus b square as it is cos sin phi is differentiated as cos phi divided by constant value a square plus b square under root as it is. This is the value of ddn dd phi of a n or d a n is equal to this. We have to differentiate with respect to the variable is here phi. Okay. So with respect to phi we have to differentiate it. Therefore volume let me find out the volume. Therefore required volume the required volume of the solid generated by revolving by revolving the area under the curve 
ए बी ए पी बी लेट मी टेक और ए बी अंडर द कर ए बी अबाउट द लाइन हियर इज द डिस्टिंग लाइन और एनी लाइन ए बी अबाउट द लाइन ए बी इज गिवन बाय अबाउट लाइन ए बी इज गिवन बाय वी वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू साइन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन पाई इनटू पी एन होल स्क्वायर इनटू डी ए एन इन दिस केस इज अ फॉर्मूला हियर और दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज लिमिट्स हियर आर 0 टू 5 बिकॉज़ हियर 5 इज 0 on the axis of x at a point if i put let me write here because on the x uh, on this ellipse these are the coordinates here a cos phi b sin phi on this line this b sin phi or uh, sorry b sin phi is equal to this is zero here okay and on this case a cos phi is zero here it is if i take a here uh, sorry zero here y coordinate is 0 b sin phi is 0 in this case on the axis of x y is 0 that means b sin phi is 0 b sin phi is 0 so phi is equal to 0 so on this point a phi is 0 on this point b phi is phi equal to pi by 2 why because a cos phi equal to 0 now a cos phi equal to 0 on b point this is by coordinate here by coordinate is on ellipse a cos phi a cos phi equal to 0 the cos phi is 0 cos phi is 0 in case of cos pi by 2 because phi equal to pi by 2 so limits are 0 to pi by 2 let me write here limits 0 to pi by 2 pi i have to take outside pn this pn is this value which is here, this square here so this is a square b square into this value which is cos phi plus sin phi minus 1 whole square upon this is a square b square a square plus b square square root is cancelled out a square plus b square into d a n d a n we have just obtained this value d a square into this let me write this value it will give us let me write here this whole value d d a n means differentiation of this with respect to phi we will write then d phi here we have d phi we have to write here because the d d phi of a n into d phi we have differentiated with respect to phi so d phi we have to write here this is a square into sine phi plus b square into cos phi divided by under root a square plus b square this we have differentiated into d5 this is the whole value which we have to solve now let me solve it so just solving it here let me now write it here so everything let me remove now okay only this volume is now calculated which we have to prove that that is the volume. So what is the volume here? Therefore, V is equal to pi. Now here A square B square multiplied. We can take outside this A square B square sign of integration. This is 0 to pi by 2 limits. Okay, this is cos phi plus sin phi minus 1 whole square. Now divided by this a square plus b square into under root a square plus b square is a square plus b square whole power 3 by 2. Why? Because half plus 1. All of these 3 by 2. This are taken outside. Only now this multiply to a square into sine phi plus b square into cos phi. Sorry. B square into cos phi into d phi. This is the value left. We have to multiply square this and multiply this. Now let me <coughs> solve it so that the volume can be then calculated. What the volume of the solid generated? For that, let me solve it by a square b square divided by a square plus b square whole power 3 by 2 half plus 1 power that is 3 by 2 power. Now 0 to pi by 2 powers. 
Or let me start. Now, cos phi, if I open this whole square, it is a plus b plus c whole, whole square. That means a square means cos square phi plus b square means sin square phi plus 1 square means 1 minus 1 square is 1. Now, we have to write twice a b, twice b c, twice c. It will be, let me take multiply cos phi into minus 1. That is minus twice cos phi. Minus 2 into sine phi into minus 1. That means 2 into sine phi. 1 into sine. With negative sine with minus 1 into sine phi. Yes. Then plus 2 sine phi into cos phi. This is sine phi into cos phi. The value here. Okay. This is whole square of this cos phi plus sine phi minus 1 whole square. This is the whole opened. Now into multiply to this value. This is a square into sine phi plus b square into cos phi into d phi. This is the whole value. Now let me now this sine square phi plus cos square phi is one trigonometric identity. Since sorry, since sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. We can add here one. It will give us pi a square b square divided by a square plus b square whole power 3 by 2. Okay, limits 0 to pi by 2. Then in bracket it is 1 plus 1, 2. So 2 minus 2 cos phi minus 2 sin phi plus 2 sin phi into cos phi multiplied by a square into sine phi okay plus b square into cos phi into d phi this is the value now let me solve it here so b obtained here that means left only this one this is the value which we have to solve therefore volume is equal to they are calculating the volume of this solid which is generated by revolving this arc APV around line AB like this. So this is the line about which this radius PN will be of the solid. This is elementary strip in this case. That elementary strip is generated and there will be a circle having the this radius PN and when applied in limits 0 to pi by 2 then this whole solid will be obtained. The volume of solid will be obtained. Now let me solve it. It is giving us pi into a square b square divided by a square plus b square whole power 3 by 2 limits 0 to pi by 2. Now one thing is 2. 2 into a square sin square phi. Okay. Again 2 into b square into cos phi because this sin phi cos phi. So these two if, if I multiply by 2 first these two values it will give us 2 into a square 2 into a square into sine phi first is plus 2 into b square this value 2 into b square into cos phi this is cos phi here if I multiply by minus 2 cos phi to this value both will be negative values so that will be there let me write minus sine 2 first is a square 2 into a square sine phi cos phi this is sine phi cos phi okay then plus b square that means minus again so it will be minus 2 b square this value cos phi into cos phi is cos square phi 2b square into cos square phi multiplying by cos phi here then multiplying by minus 2 sin phi to both it will give us minus 2 into a square sin phi into sin phi is sin square phi okay then sin phi to cos phi will give us minus 2b square into sin phi into cos phi sin phi into cos phi okay that is the point here 
this sin phi multiplied to these two values we have obtained. Now 2 sin phi cos phi is to multiply. That will give us twice again. It will be plus sin 2 a square into sin phi cos phi and this is sorry sin phi cos phi here to sin phi cos phi multiplied to a a square sin phi will be twice a square sin square phi first is into cos phi plus sin 2 b square second step which is sin phi into cos square phi into d phi this is complete but before that let me assemble them okay similar similar terms so this is 2a sin square phi 2a square sin phi 2a square sin phi and 2b square any 2b square sin phi cos phi this is so this is 2a square sin if i take 2 a square sin phi cos phi common okay or let me now integrate them integrating these terms for the integration any like terms 2b square 2b square sin phi cos square phi this is 2b square 2a square sin square phi cos phi no problem now let me integrate them for the integration now here it is integration is of with the limits 0 to pi by 2 we can apply here gamma function or reduction formula if only one limit is given for example one function sin phi cos phi is given you can just integrate them okay we can integrate them but before integration this is one value only so sin phi is integrated as minus cos phi here it is uh, uh, sin phi only single value we can integrate them okay if i integrate them that means integrate them phi a square b square upon a square plus b square whole power 3 by 2 now if i let me write the bracket here first integration of sin phi sin phi this is twice a square sin phi is minus cos phi limits 0 to pi by 2 integration is done plus 2b square cos phi is sin phi positive integration 0 to pi by 2 now this is minus 2a square minus 2a square sin phi cos phi we can integrate them with the help of 